group like ACDC, you know, they have a very distinct personality. They're this simple, straightforward, blue-collar rock and roll band. So how do you exaggerate that for a big audience? How do you reflect that? And how do you do it in a way that's not boring, but that's interesting and has lots of stuff going on at the same time? And that's the challenge. So we made this kind of elegant, but this wasted, beaten up, corrugated iron look. And then from that, we started to think about the lighting and how the lighting would fit in with this structure. Back in the day, it was only park hands. It was basically one type of light. And now there's so many different types of moving heads with different beams, washes, gobos, and this whole huge amount of things you can use. But I still try to maintain some of that vintage look because it fits the band, you know? They want to rock rig. I'm like a two colors per song. Some are obvious, like Highway to Hell. Fire, um, amber, reds, and stuff like that. They're like rosy. It's gonna be pinks and lavenders and kind of girly colors because it's about a, a big girl. We chose on this tour to use the new Very Light 4000. It's an unusual light and it's particularly bright and has some really good features. But we took a gamble because this is a new light. Once these things have been on tour for two or three tours and they've shaken down, they've become very reliable. You always have some spares, you have good technicians with you. But we said, no, we want these. And, and even if they're not gonna be delivered until three days before the rehearsal start, we're gonna take the risk because we think they're different lights. One thing I've noticed, cer certain bulbs yellow over a quick period of time, and that would be the most frustrating thing for me with, with the bulb. So I'm always looking for lights that where the bulb temperature stays the same and has a long life. So we, we do make choices on, particularly on the source of light. You know, you can't have a bulb that lasts for 60 hours and you throw it away. It becomes a very expensive process. So uh, I think that sort of technology is improving all the time. But over the last 30 years, this thing has developed extraordinarily. And what it means is that any lighting designer or lighting director, if they have a band with enough money, they can have two or 300 lights that change color in time to the music. So it means that all shows can have that standard of production. They can all look great or they can all look the same. And that is the vital thing that people like me are always battling to try and make the thing different and interesting.